Hello, and thank you for stopping by today. My name is Jake, an application scientist with Scientific Bioprocessing. Our poster today is about optical sensing. Optical sensors are a new type of sensing technology. They're fluorescence-based, and they're made to be minimally invasive, really small, and very versatile. Optical sensors are the only type of sensors that can go in vessels as small as microfluidics devices, like organ on chip devices, to tea flasks and petri dishes, all the way up to large-scale bioreactors. Optical sensors work using a fluorescence-based method of sensing. They send light through the wall of a culture vessel to a small sensor patch that's fixed on the inside of the vessel that then returns a signal. The sensors that we have available at Scientific Bioprocessing now are dissolved oxygen and pH sensors. So on the poster, you'll see a couple of studies that we've laid out that have been done using optical sensors. The first one shows a rocking platform placed inside of a CO2 incubator. So around 5% CO2, 18 or so percent oxygen. And these are cell cultures growing adherent cells in T75 flasks. Now what's typically done in the industry, T flasks are statically placed in a CO2 incubator and cell cultures are grown inside of them. After only a couple of days, because there is no movement, these cell cultures are actually becoming hypoxic or anoxic. This is because the liquid layer, the media, acts as an insulator between the gas in the, in the atmosphere in the incubator that does not allow that gas to reach the cells where the cells are trying to metabolize and ultimately consume oxygen. So the cells are being starved of oxygen after only a couple of days. And this was shown during this first study using optical sensors. So what the researchers did was use a gentle mode of agitation to break up that insulating liquid layer so that the gas could get down to the cells as they metabolized so the cells could grow in a more, at a more healthy rate and consume oxygen at the rate that they wanted to. There are a couple of graphs here that really, really nicely illustrate this. And you can see on the red line there on the graph that the oxygen is remaining above 70 to 80% as the cells are growing in the rocking tea flask, as opposed to the static tea flask represented by the black line, where after only two to three days, the cells become almost completely anoxic. You can see the same for pH. The pH levels are remaining much more physiologically relevant throughout the experiment in a rocking tea flask as opposed to a static tea flask. The next study is really just an analysis of some small cell culture devices like tea flasks, shake flasks, and spinner flasks. And what the researchers wanted to do was see which of these flask types had the best KLA that was most representative of a 10 liter wave cult bag. What they ended up finding using optical sensors is that a T75 flask, when it is rocking, is very, very comparable in terms of KLA to a 10 liter wave cultivag. Now, a little bit about optical sensing and how it works. And you can see this diagram here in yellow. So the optical sensors are these little tiny patches. They're about 0.3 millimeters in height and can be as small as three millimeters in diameter. And these stick to the inside of a culture vessel. Everything is sterile going in, so before you put any cells or any media in the vessel, everything is sterile and is considered minimally invasive. Then the cells are inoculated over top of the sensors and a sensing platform is placed underneath the vessel. Now this can come in a couple of varieties. We have this, this coaster looking device that we call the ID reader that sends light through the wall of the vessel that fluoresces off the sensor patch to do sensing in the culture vessel. We also have fiber optic enabled readers because we know there are a lot of versatile ways that people are growing cells and not every vessel is compatible with the standard reader format. Now, once you have all this sensing, what do you do with it? We have ways to control the environment that your cells are growing in. And one of the best ways, something that we talked about earlier in this poster is the ID rocker. This is a rocking device that allows you to place T flasks on top of a rack rocking platform so that as your cells are growing, they can gently move back and forth to break up that insulating layer and oxygenate the cells. We also have a suite of custom software that allows you to log data in real time and allows you to view your cell culture as it's growing as your pH and dissolved oxygen are changing. Now, we understand there's lots of things that people want to do sensing and SBI is a company that is looking to the future for sensing types that will meet the needs of scientists growing cells everywhere. So in the future, we have lactate coming, glucose, and CO2. So stay tuned for the future with your creative ideas. We can help revolutionize cell culture using optical sensing.